Hello friends. I wanted to talk today about some things that have been on my mind, reflecting on really the last year or so of my life. I left the monastic training at the Mask Academy a bit over a year ago in March of 2021, and it's late May that I'm recording this today in 2022. And so it's been a bit over a year since I left the monastery and just reflecting on what's happened in the last year and the kinds of themes that have come up and in recent months there's been an increased clarity about the kind of work that I'm doing in the world and what I want to be doing with my life and thought it would be worth it to reflect on sort of how I came to that clarity. It's really just solidified in the last few months, and the way that I'm thinking about it is that there's sort of three primary things that I'm working on, and thinking of them as like directions or endeavors, and they really unfolded sort of sequentially, where it became clear at successive points, oh, this is what I'm doing and how this fits into the other things that I'm doing. and. It was kind of a progression over time and of course things will continue to change in the future but it feels like I have sort of a vision for who I am and what I'm doing in the world that feels pretty stable and like I'm gonna be focusing on this for some time and the three directions are spreading love that's sort of related to the loving kindness meditation and the Brahma Viharas both teaching metta and inspiring other people to practice it through the music videos that I've made through dance parties, hopefully through making music, other things. Uh, so that's the first sort of direction or endeavor. And the second I'd say is following my curiosity. So this is um, most public in the most public facing way is recording my podcast and uh, writing the blog posts that I share my writing. But it's also even more broadly than that, just following my curiosity, learning about the things that I'm interested in, having conversations with people that I'm interested in, trying new things, exploring. Um, that could look like reading books or hiring a coach or taking an online course or going somewhere to try something. And that sort of over time works out to things that I share publicly with my writing or with the podcast or other things where it's um, really I'm learning these things, following my curiosity with a view towards sharing things that are of benefit to others. I want to learn what I can for myself, but also share what I learn with others and make that as widely available as possible. So that's sort of how I think of following my curiosity. And then the third endeavor is what I'm currently calling empowerment empowerment. And this is the sort of last piece that's clicked into place when I met Mary that I've had on my podcast and I'll be working with in the future. Um, the first conversation that I had with her really clarified, oh yes, there is this third direction that actually I've been working on for some time, but it was sort of more implicit and less explicit and uh, it sort of clicked into place. Uh, this is something that I want to keep going with. And this, um, you know, after sort of thinking about it and reflecting on what it is, it's like seeing who people are, what their strengths and weaknesses are, what their gifts are, uh, what their goals and visions are, what they care about. Seeing them in terms of this concept of a vow, which I've written about recently that I learned about from my teacher, so do you. That's sort of like a purpose, but it's more emergent rather than like predefined or predestined or ordained by God or you know, something that's intrinsic within you or something that it's, it's emergent from your own desires and interactions with the world, that sort of meeting between yourself and the world. Um, so seeing people in terms of their vow, what they long to do in the world, what, what gifts they long to give the world. And uh, then from there, once I've sort of seen someone reflecting back to them what I see, which is itself really a valuable gift, like, oh, this is what I see in you. And how I see you wanting to show up in the world and things you might do next, and then helping them to realize that, taking steps and actions that help move them forward with 
living their vow with serving the world. Um, that's been such just such a helpful frame to me to see people in terms of um, their vows and seeing people as having a longing to serve the world in some unique way that only they can serve the world, that they're just longing to give to the world. And that really opens up a lot of possibilities in terms of seeing people and interacting with them and collaborating with them that um, might not be there otherwise. And this is something I really would like to build infrastructure around. I mean, I look to people like, you know, Tyler Cowan, for example, who runs this Emergent Ventures program, amongst other things, and people really um, commend his ability to identify talent and help people to move forward with what they're doing. And the way that he talks about this has been really inspiring for me and something I'd like to learn more about. And he's been doing what he's been doing in different fields for decades now. You know, he's an economist, he has his podcast, he writes journals and things like this. Um, and he's really built up this network and this knowledge base and the resources to be able to do this kind of empowerment of others where you're identifying people, really seeing them deeply and helping them to move forward to uh, actualize whatever gifts they have to give the world. And yeah, I think I bring some different frames and skills to that, but what I want to do is, is very similar to what he's doing. And this is something I'm sort of working on in the short term as well. I've got a project with Mary and my long-term collaborator, James Stuber, that we'll be launching later this year about this. And yeah, that's something I'm really excited to share with the world. And yeah, I think looking back on it, as I say, a lot of the last year has been about um, finding these three things, the love, the curiosity, and the empowerment. They sort of unfolded that that's what I was doing in that order and it feels good. It feels good to have these three things clarified, like, ah, yes, this is what I'm doing. And so many things have been simplified or clarified because of that. Like, um, I found a lot of value in the last few years of like, this is just very mundane and practical, but like updating my website and having it be a reflection of how I understand myself and what I want to do in the world. And so I structured my website around these three things recently and um, I'd had the love and the curiosity pieces as of a couple of months ago but sort of fitting in the empowerment section and um, the front page just really simplified and the menus have simplified and uh, it's just like oh yeah this is what I'm doing and you know when I think about it this way I think like oh if I was someone else maybe I would just focus on one of these things, like, oh, just spreading love and kindness, for example, or just have a really good podcast or something. Um, and there's a way in which I could maybe be more excellent if I just focused on one thing where I might be more polished or more skillful in certain ways, um, might be able to like focus my resources on just that one thing. But I think that there's some advantages to approaching it this way where it's like, oh, there's three distinct but mutually supportive endeavors that I'm working on and you know for one just emotionally psychologically I think that if I just focused on one of these things like um there'd be sort of failure modes to that like I think if I just focused on loving kindness I'd be very happy but maybe bored like oh yeah more loving kindness um and if I just focused on following my curiosity I think I would be like very interested in a lot of things but maybe be unsatisfied because I wasn't actualizing what I was learning into something bigger and similarly, I think with empowerment, maybe I would I would sort of burn out if I just focused on that. Uh, there's sort of like different needs that I have just personally that seem to be met by these different uh, endeavors. And but I think even more importantly, uh, there's sort of really lovely feedback loops between the three things. Where like, for example, um, you know, I have people on my podcast, and that sort of falls under the following my curiosity thing. But, um, you know, in a practical way, I get a chance to learn about their service projects when I have them on my podcast. And uh, that's really been a main, not the sole, but a main focus of the podcast is having people on that have sort of legible service projects of some kind. And I get to learn, learn more about those projects from talking with them and bring awareness to what they're doing and, and uh, building that relationship, that connection, the mutual understanding and trust is really the good basis for for empowering them and and moving into the other bucket 
and um, yeah, things like that. I think it just this whole system, I can see ways that there's feedback loops between the three of them and they can be mutually supportive and that having all three creates the conditions for good consequences with uh, sort of this larger uh, world where it's like, yeah, there's these three things that I'm focusing on and um, they really help each other. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, I can just see lots and lots of ways that those are mutually supportive and it might be kind of interesting or fun to delineate some of those for myself and for others at some point like oh yeah ding 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 uh this helps this this helps this this helps this and, and because they're also you know thickly interconnected those kinds of mutually supportive feedback loops like they all feed on each other so it's not just like oh this helps this but they're all helping each other and that compounds over time and uh, I get really excited about that sort of thing, both both for my projects, but, you know, all of this is done with a view towards serving others and being of benefit in the world. And that's something that I get really excited about, like seeing the sort of compounding effects of these benefits over time. And especially also like the second order effects, like, yeah, I'm doing this thing and helping someone in this way, but then they have a new skill or a new capacity or something shifts for them and then they go on to use that in other contexts and help other people and sometimes I hear about that like oh learning loving kindness made me you know happier and I was more able to help someone or oh listening to your podcast had these shifts for me or this kind of thing and um, this empowerment direction in particular like when I've had this impact on people in my life when I've like shown up for them in this way that I'm seeing who they are and helping them to move forward with giving their gifts in the world like that i mean i, I think that really changes people's lives and uh changes how they're able to show up in the world and help others and that's a really really beautiful thing to witness and i feel grateful for that opportunity every time and um you know it's, it, it sort of puts a part of me at ease and that um you know i've written about this before but before I took the Bodhisattva vows, I was really anxious and worried, like, how do I actually do this? And, and what am I even signing up for? Like, saving all beings? Like, what is that? How do I do that? And uh, I sort of procrastinated taking the vows for some time. I was interested in them for maybe two or three years before I actually took them. And uh, I needed that time to sort of become willing to actually take them and that part of me that was worried about how to actually do that feels very um satisfied and pleased by seeing that these things are of benefit in the world and i am able to give my own gifts and um, be of service in this way that really does help people and um you know i still don't know how to save all beings or save even one being like what does that mean that's still an active live question for me but I do feel like I can help people and maybe it's not every being ever in all times and places but uh, I can roll up my sleeves and do what I can with the skills that I have to be of service and even uh, even that is uh, how to put it yeah something that really ripples out it really ripples out of like, yeah, I'm helping this person that's in front of me, but I can see the causal impacts that's beyond just this moment, just beyond this person that uh, that changes many, many things for many people. Um, and that if I do that skillfully, if I do that really strategically, uh, those benefits will just compound and ripple out. And uh, Peace Pilgrim talks about this, the, you know, the good that you do just goes on and on and on and reverberates without end throughout the universe and uh, evil ends but not good good just keeps going and I've very much seen that to be true in my own experience like when I'm able to do something good when I'm able to do something that's a benefit for myself and others that that just compounds and compounds and compounds um, so I feel grateful for that and, and relieved and at ease it's like yeah this is what I'm doing I am spreading love I'm following my curiosity and I'm empowering others. And, you know, I don't think you can put your vow into words. It's not a static, fixed concept. It's not a concept and it's not static. But it's helpful to try to do so, so that you can understand it better for yourself. And it still changes with time. It's actually dynamic. 
and it's not limited to your concept of it, but it's helpful to put into words what you understand it to be at a given time. And so that's been very clarifying for me. Like, yeah, this is how I currently understand my vow, my aspiration. It is to spread love, follow my curiosity, and empower others. And just so much stuff has clicked into place from seeing this and focusing on it. And I'm really looking forward to moving forward with these endeavors from this place of clarity. Like, yeah, this is what I'm doing. This is how I'm focusing my time and energy. And I'm already starting to see the benefits of having this frame and looking forward to seeing where it goes from here. Yeah. So thanks for listening and uh, would be curious to hear any thoughts that you may have about these specific endeavors that I'm doing or just vows in general or any other thoughts that come up from watching this. Thank you.